What's up guys? Welcome back to Carnegie Studios. In this lesson, we'll be covering day two of our beginner piano series. If you're a beginner or you're coming back to the piano, I challenge for you to stay for all 21 days so that you could learn something new to add to your skill or to develop your skill of playing the piano. Let's jump right into the lesson. So in part one, we discussed the names and the white keys. Um, we discussed why it is that they are named that way, the musical alphabet from A to G. That's how all the notes in the piano are lettered. And today we're going to be covering the black notes. So we covered the white notes, a little bit of a refresher. Um, you have groups of two and three black notes that are repeated all across the piano. And from those two and three black notes, there are groups three and four white notes that are repeated as well. And so you have the black notes in twos and threes and the white notes you see in threes and fours surrounding the black notes. How to find middle C is the group of two, the white note that's to the left of the group of two black notes. That's how you find C. And subsequently after that, you have C, D, E, F, G, and then it goes back to A, B, and then C. So those are the names of the white keys. What are the black keys? How, what are they named? Is it LMNLP? No, it's not that. Um, black keys are, have a specific name and they're what you call accidentals. That's the official name for the black keys on piano. All the black keys on the piano essentially have two names, and we're going to uh, dive into why that is here in a second. But starting with middle C, you have that white key, C. If I want to go to this black key, which is a half step to the right, what this black key will be called is C sharp. If I'm going up, a half step or I'm raising raising it up a half step you sharp it if I'm going down from the D note it's what you would call D flat so that's what accidentals are so there'll be a sharp and there'll also be a flat name for the key so let's start so you have C you go up C sharp D that's D sharp, E, F, and when it's between white keys, I know we went in a half step between, it's still going to be F. It's not going to be E sharp. So it's going to be F. Go up a half step from there. That is F sharp. Half step, G. Go up, G sharp, A. Go up a half step, A sharp, and then you're to B. Let's walk it down. I said they have two names. When you're going up, it is a sharp. When you're going down or you're lowering it down a half step, it's what you would call a flat. So going back down, B, B flat, A, A flat, G, G flat, F, E, E flat, D, and D flat. So let's put it all together. If I'm going up, it's a sharp. If I'm going down the scale to the left, it is a flat because I'm lowering it a half step. If I'm raising it up a half step, it is a sharp. If I'm lowering it a half step, it is a flat. So you've got C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, going back down, B, B flat, A, A flat. And there you 
have it, folks. Now you can name all 12 keys of the piano. And you have it all. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Please like and subscribe. And I can't wait to show you guys part three.